So ever since I've moved my office into my print room, I'm facing one major issue with noise and let me show you. So this is one printer. Yeah, this is two printers running full blast CPAP. Let's see if we can fix this somehow. So yeah, imagine working here, answering phone calls, calling customers, nah, not a good idea. Though the CPAP is pretty awesome when you keep it low, like under 70% or 60%, everything below that is super quiet, super effective. And that's normally where I run it. I don't, I don't, well, normally most of the time between 30 to 50% is more than enough for what I do. But you know me, I like to crank things once in a while and do some speed stuff. So. This is noisy and we need to fix this. And I have a couple ideas that I will take inspiration from the car industry because I think there's a lot of things we can get inspiration from, from the cars because I've owned a couple turbo cars in the past. I still own one and um, there are stuff that they do in the car industry to lower the intake sound but also the exhaust sound. So we're gonna take a look at that and see if we can implement some of the IDs uh, on the printer itself, on the CPAP system. But I have two criteria that are very, very important for me. I don't wanna lose any power or flow or velocity. Well, I can lose a bit, but I'm not ready to sacrifice performance over sound. Um, I can simply just run the printer uh, at night if I have to. So I just don't want to lose performance and I want to lower the sound. So most of the sound again is coming from the intake. Let's see if we can improve that. So let's jump right into it. So my first idea is to use what we call a velocity stack or some other people call it air trumpet or even bell mouth intake. And if you're older like me, you probably saw them on the good old days where carburetors engine were there and where you saw little trumpets on each individual carburetors. And you could also see them in fuel injected cars or even directly mounted on the inlet of the turbocharger. So the job of that velocity stack is to smooth out the air coming in in a more laminar flow. So it should in theory, well not in theory, it should lower down the intake sound, make it more pleasant to hear and lower the frequency of that sound. At least we could try that and see if that would work with our CPAP. So I've designed this little guy you see on the screen. It has a radius of six millimeter at the top here. And from what I read, it's about right for our uh, usage here. So let's just print that. We're gonna test if it lowers down the sound, but we're also gonna test if it lowers down the flow or the velocity of the air coming out of that um, part cooling fan dock. So let's just do that and see what it does. Part is ready to go on and ready to test. We have our Atomo meter right there, ready to measure the velocity. We're just gonna launch the CPAP full blast and see if it affects in any way the flow. Fifty one dot four. Fifty one dot four dot one. There is absolutely no significant change in terms of velocity. So now let's just test the, the noise. But I didn't I didn't hear anything besides a little more noise. So let's just uh, measure that just to see. Noise test now. Let's see if it's going to affect the noise. I'm going to try to hold it in a way that I'm not interfering with the flow. So let's just do it. I, did, I didn't see anything dropping. Well, in fact, I think it even hired that sound. At least from my ears, it was a less pleasant sound to hear. It looks like it made more sound. So that is 
Uh, rejected solution doesn't work or maybe with a different shape different dimension I don't know I'm not a pro there but I don't think we're going to significantly do any uh, noise reduction with that system so on to my B plan or my second idea all right so that little guy that little air trumpet air velocity stack didn't work good I'm gonna throw it away and go to B plan which is still inspired by the car industry so when I was younger, back in the good old days, we were modifying our sports car. We were removing what we call the air box or the air intake box. And we were just replacing that with a P-flow or a cold air intake. So we wanted to make the car sound better and making more noise. We were cool kids. <laughs> Police didn't like that, but we didn't care. We were in the fast and furious time when it started. So we were modifying our cars to make more sound. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna install a air box on top of that CPAP fan. And if you look at that screen right here, um, I've designed this little guy here and it has a dual intake. So that's the air box and it's going to be connected to that. Um, oh yeah, of course, it's it's going to have that metal back panel here in between. But if we remove that and we remove the CPAP fan, you'll see the CPAP fan intake will be connected to that metal baffle. And I think I can call that baffle if that's the right English word. And it's going to suck in the air from the deepest place from um, the, not the bottom, but anyway, you see that at the back of that air box or in the front, depending on where you're going to look at it, while the air coming in that air box will come from those two intake. So that's going to create kind of a, a zigzag or a, a baffle. Um, I think that's still the right word to use. So I'm hoping that this will reduce um, intake noise. And we're going to print that and put it to the test. And we'll see if that is completely stupid or if it was a, a, a good idea. So let's print it, test it out, and we'll see. Our first thing the part is ready we have dual intake 15 millimeter dual intake and we have the baffles inside so we're ready for the velocity the air velocity test let's crank up that CPAP and we have 50.4 I'm gonna try it's gonna be a little hard but I'm gonna try to put it in the middle without bolting it so we drop down at 49.6 so it it flows very good it doesn't create any restriction just a tiny bit all right but i don't hear a lot of noise drop from the intake but we're going to do the decibel test and we're going to see all right, we're ready to do the sound test, so let me start the CPAP and see what that thing's gonna do. It's not doing anything and from my air meter I don't <laughs> I don't hear any difference so this one is a fail um, maybe if the air box was bigger maybe uh, that could work I guess maybe it's gonna help but we are so limited in space here so I think this design is a big fail on to the next one that dual intake air box is a complete fail I really had hoped that this would at least reduce the noise a little bit, but no, it's a total trash. And I found another mistake I've made. It's too thick, so it interfered with my gantry. So I'm gonna have to make that box a little smaller. So overall, a total fail. So back, 
to the drawing board. My next design, my next idea I'd like to try is again inspired by the car industry with my current uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a turbo diesel engine and it has what we call a turbo muffler. It's a pipe that goes in line with the intake just after the turbo and um, it's a pipe that is going for a certain diameter, then it expands and then it contracts again and inside there's a tube that keeps that same diameter all the way but it has all perforated holes, if that's an English word, it has holes and I'm going to show you that in this picture right here and um, so the air enters and it loses a bit of pressure and then it compresses again to go in the intake so it's the same principle that we have also on what we call on the exhaust resonators on a car just right before the mufflers those pipes there are there to remove the resonating sound of your engine so I'm gonna try that and put that also in a air box so if we take a look at my design right here I'm gonna show you what I have for this one so let's get rid of this guy which is the older design and this is the new design so as you can see we still have that air box but this time it has this internal um, um, tubes or, or baffle inside let me remove the CPAP so we can see better so that is what's inside and we can also take a look at um, removing this guy so there we go this is inside what is there and I'm gonna just do this real quick so yeah we can see better here so air will come in and will expand in that bigger um, chamber and it will go in that air box and hopefully that design will work I have more faith in this design than my other design so I think this one will work better but we shall see I mean um, it's my last hope. I have other ideas, but I think this one might be the best one. So let's print it, assemble it, and test it out. Ready to test this guy the baffle is installed and we're ready for the air velocity test let's see if that's gonna choke it too much or reduce the flow we we'll shall see right now Uh, we're losing a tiny tiny bit about one kilometer of an hour which is not too bad but it's promising because I feel that I can hear the difference in sound and it makes it a lot quieter but we'll see because this thing here makes a lot of sound so let me remove this and we'll test the DB there we go moment of truth well this guy with the baffle will it reduce the sound let's find out out. It might doesn't look like a lot on the meter but we've lost a couple dBs but my ear meter <laughs> this is awesome it reduced and removed 
all the annoying whistle or the intake um, you know that it sucks the air it it removes that sound and it works surprisingly well i'm very happy that that is a lot quieter it's just that annoying sound is gone and now i feel that this is totally usable so i think we have a winner Mm-hmm. That was a happy ending. I'm quite happy with the result. I was honestly not expecting that much, but it worked out very good. It completely, no, I can't say completely. It removed most of the annoying sound of that intake where uh, when it sucks air in. So that, that whistle is gone and that's all I care about. Could we make it better? Absolutely. I'm really not the best guy in designing this stuff. This is way outside of my knowledge. I just tested some maybe stupid IDs, but it, it worked <laughs> and I'm happy with that. We could also make a outside air box um, and, and move that CPAP a bit further outside the printer and enclose the entire CPAP fan and everything like that and make it better. But for me, it, it's just that annoying sound that is gone and that's all I wanted and it worked. So um, if you have better IDs, comment down below. I'll share the CAD file and the STL files so you guys can uh, make it better. <laughs> it's open source, that's, that's exactly for that. Make it better, modify it, and if you have something to suggest, drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to read because I know there's a lot of smart guys out there watching this channel, way smarter than me in that aspect. This is not my uh, expertise, absolutely not. So I'll be happy to read that. So I've designed a couple more. Um, I have other design that I've done with different shapes, different baffles, different everything dimensions and really what worked best is what I have here and uh, it's good like that so on this I thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one and on this have a great night and yeah don't forget to stay hydrated have a good one goodbye everyone